Hello. Um, you may have stumbled upon this YouTube channel. Um, whatever, however, looking up videos. Um, this is only the second video I've posted on the channel. Um, for now, this is the Connecticut Saturnid Project um, YouTube channel. You can also find us on Instagram, CT Saturnid Project. You can find that we have a Flickr account. Um, I don't know why I'm really saying me. It's we. It's really me. Um, I'll have some other videos from older times, like a year ago, uploaded to just random miscellaneous things. But I'm Alex Vernowski. Um, I'm in Connecticut, and um, I have a huge passion for Saturnin moths. And so my friend Lisa, who lives very close to my house, right now I'm in the backwoods near my house. My house is down that way. Um, but we, I'm growing up, I'm 17, near a lot of woods, and recently I've been rearing some Saturnin moths around, Luna moths, Polyphemus moths, and trying Hyalophora with very little luck. But, um, this is an introduction video, so I'm introducing myself. Um, this is just a winged video I just making with the cell phone. A lot of the videos you'll see will be log videos or pro progress videos, either shot with my phone's camera or Lisa's camera, although Lisa's moving away in a couple days. Um, but if you see any videos that were a little bit, that were filmed but uploaded, like they were filmed last year or earlier this year, but they were uploaded recently, and you hear some lady's voice, it's just Lisa, no worries, nobody's going crazy or anything. But, um, she and her fr and our friend at the other end of the neighborhood, Mark, would, who um, is also very good with animals and is interested in nature, um, are helping me. And so technically I'm one person that started the whole idea. But there are a couple of other people around my neighborhood, Mark and Lisa mainly, that are um, helping me out with some of the things. And so I'm just saying hello so you know who I am. Some of my videos will be macro videos. The first video I posted, which is actually more of an impulse thing, I took a video of a Kitheronia male pupating, and it just happened to be I was there in my room with my camera, my macro lens camera, Canon Rebel, whatever, and I took a video of him pupating. Um, it's cut off because the camera died, but you can see a quality macro video, but any videos where I'm like out in the woods checking on things, it's going to be um, mainly shot with a phone camera like this. You can see the woods. There are plenty of hickory around me, which is what I rear a lot of things on. A lot of oak, maple, which I really don't use, um, and a couple of other plants. Right now I have Luna caterpillars. I have Atlas moth caterpillars, which is pretty exciting. On Instagram you can see some of our Atlas photos. I have to take photos of the fresh third and stars. But um, you'll see on this channel a lot of, we're going to do tutorials, how-tos, how to do certain different things with the certain moths. Um, different, um, maybe species profiles. I'll obviously keep logs. I'm going to work on species documentaries. I'm actually going to work on a project where I take a documentary of every species a year in Connecticut. Some species have two broods. The Lunas and Polyphemus have two broods here. Hylophora, Cecropia are always single brood. Um, and yes, I pronounce Cecropia with a C. I originally pronounced it with a C like a K, because it's Latin, well, Cecropia I don't think is Latin, but if it was, it would be pronounced with a K. Um, but I'll talk about pronunciation maybe in a different video. But yeah, you'll see videos with all kinds of how-tos, you'll see logs, you'll see a lot of things going on around here. Um, uploaded from Lisa's phone, uploaded from my camera and my phone and everything. Whatever we have, it's just going to be a compilation of videos. There's going to be very little talking like this, like me sitting on a rock in the woods talking to a camera. It's going to be mainly me talking to the camera filming a sleeve or a moth or something or showing you how to do some of the things that we do. Our main goal is to not only educate people about Saturnian moths because they're truly amazing and interesting moths. They're very large and they live around um, everywhere basically wherever moths live, and they're kind of unknown. People think a lot of them are rare, but they only live a couple of days, like a week and a half as adults. Um, they're very beautiful, but human activity is causing some problems with them, over-collection, street lights that distract them from their breeding activities. 
um, habitat destruction. These are all threatening Saturnian moths. One of our goals is to educate people about these sort of things, not just for the Saturnian moths. I mean, the Saturnian moths are the big things that people will notice, but there are plenty of other animals that are affected by the same issues that we're hoping people will be aware of so they have less of an impact on the environment, less of a negative, because we want future generations to be able to enjoy the beauty of a lunar moth or something like that, because lunar moths are becoming endangered very rapidly. So are Hyalophora cecropia. But that's because of a parasitic fly that was accidentally introduced in an attempt to get rid of the gypsy moth, which humans also introduced. Yeah, isn't that lovely? But anyway, um, another goal of ours um, not only is to help educate people about Saturnids, help people become better Saturnid rears and teach people how to rear Saturnids um, if they're interested in the hobby. Also to improve myself as a Saturnid rear because there are certain things I need to work on like hand pairing. I am terrible at hand pairing. Last time I tried to hand pair moss, both of them freaked out. One of them lost a wing. I tried to hand pair moss and had eggs laid all over the male's body parts. Um, doesn't turn out very well with me, um, but you'll see different things on here. Don't be afraid to check back every now and then. Please subscribe. Um, another thing that we'll do, you can email ctsaturnaproject at gmail.com for this part. But we'll also trade stock. We like to mix up, I like to mix up the bloodlines of my things. I was doing this with Lunas this year. I've also done it with Polyphemus, where when we have a pairing, which is a usually a captive female and a wild male, because I never catch wild females that have been mated. Never, I've only caught one wild female in my life. It was a Cecropia. And I made the mistake, because I was a little bit younger, of leaving her outside and she flew off because she had already mated, probably. But um, I never catch wild females around here. But I have called in wild males with females in head pairings. And so, you know, people that want to do stock trades, like you get Luna eggs and I get Luna eggs from different areas, you know, from our own rearing. And then we trade the same amount so that we both mix up our bloodlines and our stocks. We let, That's another goal of, you know, the project to kind of enhance different gene pools and to help people out that way too. Um, we're a non-profit. Saturn Project really isn't hoping to make a profit from what we're doing. We're just really here to help people out and help the Saturnians out and share what we really love. So I hope you enjoy our YouTube channel or Instagram. Maybe I'll make a Twitter for us. I don't know. I don't think my mom would be too happy with that. But if you enjoy our YouTube, enjoy Instagram, enjoy Flickr, you can see CT Saturnid Project. Um, we'll post links on our YouTube so that you can see all the pictures that we've taken of Saturnids. Um, you'll see things on Instagram, things all over. And it's basically just somebody's effort to share what they love perfectly harmless perfectly fun saturns are really amazing and i will make a separate video of like saturn rearing and how it can actually benefit the rear um a lot of different things one like just the joy of the saturn is, is enough to really cheer you up and also um there is a physical exercise element to certain parts of the saturn project you know saturn experience like hiking through the woods I don't know if you've noticed, but there's like a hill here. I'm not saying this should be your only exercise, but you do get a good workout walking through the woods, feeding caterpillars, especially when they're the fifth in star. Uh, it really all depends. Like if you have the trees right in your backyard, maybe not, but I have to travel at least um, several houses down my, from my yard um, to feed my caterpillars and check on them. And it is fun. It's a fun thing to do. It does really, you know, take your mind off of any stress. Very stress relieving, very rewarding experience. And um, not only do I hope to eventually help people see that, but I hope that we can raise a generation of people eventually that is more aware of the um, other species. Because a lot of today's kids really don't stop to appreciate nature and what else the earth has to offer other than human things. Everybody's so into pop culture and all kinds of things. And I'm not going to go on a tangent right now, but um, very few people have an appreciation for like other things in the environment. And not only is it going to damage the environment, but they're really being deprived. There's so much that you could be out enjoying. I mean, I'm having trouble focusing on the camera because I am just taking in the woods. I'm next to a horn beam right now. Um, I like to walk through the woods every now and then. I don't do it as much as I used to when I was younger. Obviously, I have a lot more school things. I'm a little bit more busy, but I still make some time to go out. Um, I'm more likely to be out in the woods than I am to be sitting in front of a television, that's for sure. And if I'm in front of a television, either it's because it's dark, the weather's bad, 
um, or like one of the good shows like Bones or a nature show is on. But other than that, I'm really, I love nature. I love animals. I've kept all kinds of animals, not only saturnids, I've kept mantises, which I'm kind of taking a break from. I've kept and bred firebelly toads. I still have them. I keep all kinds of amphibians. I've kept all kinds of amphibians, kept all kinds of insects. Um, so I hope you enjoy everything. I'm going to wrap this video up, but there will be plenty more to come. So I hope I've introduced myself thoroughly. Thank you.